Arthur was playing with a pocket knife in his boat when suddenly the river gushed out of the hole he had made. Arthur realizes that Anna is nearby and quickly blocks the hole with his foot. At that moment, an enemy warship sails by. They all quickly disguise themselves as local fishermen. However, when an officer boards the ship to inspect it, Bob picks up a small earthworm and pretends to fish. But the worm doesn't cooperate, so Bob puts it in his mouth to straighten it out. He exerts too much force, though, and pops the worm on the officer's head. The officer realizes that these men are not fishermen and orders the men to open fire. While Arthur picks up the Gatling machine gun to cover their retreat, his teammates jump into the water. Arthur kept firing with the Gatling machine gun in hand, and soon the falling shell casings covered his ankles. The enemy, intimidated by the overwhelming firepower, all jumped into the water as well. When the shell casings rose to Arthur's thighs, the bullets this ran out, and the officer saw that Arthur had stopped firing and was about to give the order to capture him when Arthur threw a grenade that landed right in the officer's mouth. The explosion blew Arthur into the air. The man lay down in the sarcophagus and turned the key a few times. Suddenly, the instruments inside the coffin began to rotate at high speed, and blue arcs of electricity began to jump wildly. The next instant, the man took his last breath. However, just as the supermarket owner was about to close the door, his soul manifested on the side of the road. But the supermarket owner couldn't see him. The owner walked straight to the safe, opened it, and deposited the cash accumulated that day into it. The owner then went to the entrance, set the code for the alarm system, switched off the interior lights, and then he lowered the iron door of the supermarket and locked it with a final combination lock. At this point, the man's soul began to fade away. However, his body in the coffin suddenly came back to life. He quickly got dressed and walked out of the house towards the supermarket. After entering all the codes correctly, the safe opens and he removes everything inside before quickly fleeing. Meanwhile, the man's roommate seized the opportunity to lie down in the coffin. He turned the key to activate the device, and his spirit arrived at the door of the man's girlfriend's house. Nami was sleeping, and the soul of the roommate effortlessly passed through the door into the house and lay beside her. 